Hello everyone, welcome to Sports Kabri with me, Rishi and Adi. Guys, we may be witnessing for the last time Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma playing together. Or maybe both of them just playing an ICC T20 World Cup. Um, we don't know if we're going to make it to the next one. Virat is what, 35? Rohit a year older. So, they're both sort of in their final legs. And um, yeah, Rishi, dude, what do you think? Uh, is it going to be the last time we're going to see these two? In an ICC T20 World Cup? Uh, yeah, I think T20 World Cup, you can pretty much say at least not these two. I think Virat, considering he is still on top of his game and how he's handled his physique and, you know, his fitness levels, I can I feel Virat can stretch it out and play one more ICC T20 tournament. But the I don't think Rohit Sharma can do the same simply because of the fact that and I feel Virat also has adapted his game a lot. More. Simply why? Simply why? Huh? Yeah, simply, simply because why? of the Rocha fact Rocha. that he has Rojama has not adapted. A he has not adapted his game. I don't see any kind of necessities. Like he hasn't modified or done anything other than just going a little bit aggressive. It's either he go, tries to go aggressive or he goes in, entirely defensive. There's no. I don't see any shift or any type of new. Thing that Virat, I mean that Rohit has added to his game or anything, and on top of that, his you can see how his physicality has gone drastically over the last ten years. Like uh, he, the captain he was when he became captain of Mumbai Indians, he was a, you can't say he was all game, but he was much in a healthier, much in a physic, uh, physically fitter state than he is right now. I can barely see him sprint for twos, and you know even situations where Virat will probably take. Sneak in the third run. I don't see Rohit Sharma going for the second one also. So from that perspective, simply from the physicality perspective, and I feel the team will outgrow Rohit Sharma sooner than they'll outgrow Virat. Interesting, interesting. I think you think uh, okay. Let's first discuss Rohit. Virat, uh, I mean sorry, I think this is Rohit's last T20 World Cup. T20 World Cup. I'm talking about just in general. T20, bro, like for about 20 years, just stand on the field. At 39, you think he can do it? Yeah, see, the thing is with Rohit Sharma, I don't think he can stretch his T20 career anymore, anyways. Because I think if he wants to play cricket and if he's serious about it, see, he's already won the T20 World Cup. So for him, you need to think right. from That's his perspective. True. Yeah, so I don't think he has, see, to be fair, Coming into this tournament only, if he wasn't the captain, you wouldn't have been surprised if he's not picked in the squad, right? Mm. Because of the mm. form he's been in in T20, even in the IPL. And going long-term, he's already 37. And if, you, if he has this dream, he keeps saying he wants to win the World Cup, he wants to win the World Cup. If he wants to do that, playing still playing in the T20 doesn't make sense for him anyways. Because there's no point of playing T20 where you're adding another 10, 15, 20 games per season preparing for a World Cup when you're not looking at, you know, T20 anymore. Maybe you can play the IPL because that's, you know, all the money is there, the hype is around it. You can't be out of the IPL. Apart from that, with the World Cup, it depends. If he wants to sustain his career, you know, when 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 we're going to the next World Cup, which will be another three years from now anyways. So, in that term, he'll already be 39, 40, 41 in those age anyways. So, if he really wants to sustain, I don't think he's going to play any more World Cups in terms of maybe even Test and T20. I think he would try to play only IPL and ODIs and, you know, push himself towards that last World Cup. If he can win it, great for him. If he doesn't, you know, I think that's the maximum he can stretch. I, I, anyways, for me and from him, his perspective, I don't think he's also motivated to play T20s for, for, for a long time, you know, mm -hmm. especially. Yeah. But that actually makes sense because it is his, he's already won the tournament this year, dude. Like mm -hmm. won the first edition. And I think the Rohit Sharma, Rohit Sharma the player really was came through that tournament. Like we got to know about Rohit Sharma the player through that tournament. Played at number six, I still remember then. But mm -hmm. and yeah, but on the other hand, Virat Kohli probably has more hunger for this competition because he's never won it. So do you see that? I mean, like Adi mentioned, it's, it's I think it's an important factor, dude. Like at least that's something we have to consider. When going is, is the fact that he's not won it. You've seen Rocha must speak about the 50 over World Cup a lot, saying that I never won it, I wanted to win it, I want to win it. He's not part of the 2011 World Cup in dramatic circumstances. So, you think like he takes us a little lighter compared to the 50 over World Cup? Rocha, you can say to an extent, yeah, from the body language, from how much he speaks about it, but I can't say the same about Virat at least. I think 
the kind of athlete he is the kind of you know desire he shows i think he has equal determination to win any competition that you put in front of him whether be it border gavaskar trophy whether be it ipl whether be it the 50 over world cup or the t20 world cup i feel going into a tournament anything of this magnitude i feel regardless if you won it or not virat is a player who has that determination to you know win anything that's put in front of him he sees that as an obstacle that he has to overcome so i feel for virat you can say he has that he'll have the same determination no matter what if he had won the previous world cup i if you and he is to go to the next world cup i i feel it would have been starting from scratch for him but for rohit sharma uh, he i i can't say from a personal as in what goes inside his head but at least from the body language from the way that he carries himself the way that he operates on the field like like you it's visible that you know like maybe that hunger has slightly reduced or that hunger that desire is not there for certain tournaments that is there for the others but i can't say the same with virat he treats every you know major tournament as his last that has something he has to give his 100% for yeah bro and i think virat now 35 36 turning this year um mm. bro he easily i think in my head he's going to easily play two more t20 world cups 38 and 40 bro, he's 40 or the he is the fittest by a mile not it's not even close how fit he is and like it's not even a as physically demanding game as you can see a tennis or a or say a basketball where you know yeah is it's not even a contact sport of course you can get hit with the ball you need to be like you know it's it's a it's a type of sport where it's not as physically challenging as certain other sports are so i feel considering how well he's carried himself his physicality how he's taken care of his you know body i it's 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 if you told me he'll, he's he is going to play till 41 i wouldn't try to put it past him like yeah that's i like and- I, like yeah so It, I, if you if you really told me that he's going to play for another T20 World Cup and a 50 over World Cup, I would be like, yeah, that's 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 realistically possible from a Virat Kohli perspective. True, true, true. I think the only thing that that is a factor is that if his batsmanship dramatically changes or dramatically takes yeah. a hit, and he can no longer play T20 cricket, yeah, probably then it would be it for Virat. But until then, I think he's going strong and he's. Let's let's hope he keeps going strong. Adi, you think Virat? I'm talking about the batsman, dude. Like, do you think just as a pure batter, leave the fitness out of it? We know he's going to stay fit for God knows how long. But just on the batting front, do you think he'll sustain for the next four years? It's a tough question. I mean, when we talk about Virat, firstly, you have to take in the physical matter when it comes to right fitness. Also, I mean, look at Warner. He's also pushing 39, 40, but he's still very fit and he's still. you know at least in his fitness perspective on, on the field he's always you know that guy who puts in energy in fielding etc i think warner virat have very similar parallels in terms of fitness and batting uh but the thing with virat is it depends on his motivation i just feel like that because you talk about virat there's a lot of things that goes outside the field that affects him also right because if you want him to play the world cup i think in terms of playing the world cup you know next world cup will be in india also if i'm not wrong the t20 world cup so i think he would end up playing that because uh, you know after that we'll have the uh, world cup, 50 over world cup i think those two tournaments would be his last tournaments most probably for india's in his, in the icc setup uh, but apart from that i i think he's going to be again it depends on the mentality i don't know about virat like we know he wants to win games we know he's always in that mindset of you know let's go win it no matter what i mean even though over the years he's he's lost a lot of finals or semi finals especially for india and every year for rcb in that sense he's still been going even at the age of 35 36 he's still pushing himself with the same mentality of winning uh that's something i don't think the level see from virat go down but again it's it's about motivation i i think in cricket especially in india we have other factors also I don't know. Maybe some day he's just gonna wake up and say, "Yeah, I'm done with this. I can't continue with you know the Indian politics part of the cricket trade." Right? Because you can see Virat as a player, but I don't think we've seen a lot from Virat even even in the recent past where he talks about how he's satisfied with his career. He doesn't really care much. He's also told. I remember last year in in an interview with 
uh, you know the nags of the rcb channel he's like i can li- literally retire it tomorrow and it will be good for him so that's the thing with virat i never know if in terms of motivation you know in terms of the motivation of dealing with the other side of cricket especially indian cricket yeah but, but you know like the general feeling i'm getting is that yeah we we expect virat to continue but there's a serious question over whether rohit sharma will and that's why rishi i want to ask you like if if this is going to be rohit sharma's goodbye and his farewell as far as icc tournaments are concerned where what's what's your favorite rohit sharma memory or what sort of do you remember most about him because yeah he's had a long career with starting 2007 and yeah it's 17 years on he's still playing i mean the, the fact that he's also been the a mumbai indian supporter for i mean when he's captain for him i was mumbai supporter i couldn't have asked for more considering how you know he was how we were before he took over like it was a decent side we had the stars but for some reason or the other for the first two three for the first two years we were actually horrible and then he came mid season and it, we haven't looked back as a franchise and you can say that of course he's always given he's always had the best dispo, like best bowling lineup at his disposal he's had you know but half the time the franchise has given chances to players who you've not heard of probably like under his captaincy players like hardik pandya players like uh, jaspreet bumrah yusvendra chahal all of them came through his captaincy so from that perspective i feel he has contributed a lot to i mean he, he dude mumbai indians at least right now not going forward i don't know how but at least so far mumbai indians is synonymous to rohit sharma that is just yeah yeah, yeah. that is that yeah. is just an ipl perspective from an indian perspective him taking over the captaincy surrounded more than him i feel just like any other indian captain it had a lot to do with the controversy of the previous captain leaving the circumstances under which the previous <laughs> captain left it was not a very peaceful transition like you know a, a dhoni saying i'm leaving and then virat taking over it was much like a ganguly leaving or a sachin leaving and then somebody else having to take and the back story behind what all that happened from that place where you know the whole drama happened behind the scenes where virat had to leave and rohit took over i feel the team could have done better i mean they could they whoever you put in front of them they beat on their day in the world cup but except for the last i feel india could i don't i don't i don't know how much more india could have done that world cup and that they, i don't think they could have done much more this is exactly like one of like the team one of by far the best world cup performances i have seen of any team it could exactly that's the, the finals of the finals yeah yeah except the final even, but even in the even in, in the final we got back into the game as much as possible like the travis head wicket probably was the turning point and then even that i don't know i don't know how much more we could have done like that's the thing if like, oh, in, in the overall course of the tournament in the final is i just didn't i just feel that australia played better like it's one of those days where like you don't feel so much as to yeah we should have done this we should have done that it's just okay australia were better on the day they came that up with a plan bad come up like, with a bad i feel they just did their job better than indians did their job but i still feel I had not. I was not as disappointed, you know, going into that tournament. I mean, the war, like how the tournament played out compared to you know, you know the pre- the previous editions. Ah, like, so that's you, when you get more disappointed, right? Like for example, you're going in a tournament, best team in the world, no one can beat you. So it was disappointing. The final sure. you lose. That's the worst feeling yeah. because we're going into the tournament. Was, yeah, it was. For example, it was Australia lost the final. It was frustrating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It is. It is. Uh, of course, um, uh, the, the the game played out. We all watched it together. After that, we're all sad. But in retrospect, I don't I don't know how much more we could have done. Is my this one that even the, through, throughout the tournament, I'm like, yeah, we whoever was put in front of us, we we didn't just somehow see them through. We convinced them. I think every, every game, game. Yeah, every we, game. we blew the opponents out of the equation. Yeah. And that final, I just feel Pat Cummins out foxed us. and australians in general just played better cricket they stuck to their plan they just played better cricket they deserve to win fair enough it's just one of those games where you lose to a better opponent you're like you know what fair play there's nothing much we could have done like of course it is sad that we didn't win but yeah that's that, that's that at least that's how i felt in the in the world cup final but um other than that i don't the 
my favorite Rohit memory has to be the one where his first 200, like which I thought after, okay, Sachin, Sachin hit the 200 and then for a while you were like, okay, maybe there is someone who could hit, like I was honestly thinking that might, might have been Yuvraj or someone like that, but then Viru comes and smashes that. And for Rohit Sharma to play the way he kind of, the way he, that innings panned out, I feel that has to be the, the, the highlight for me of, of the Rohit Sharma player career for India. Yep, yep. I think agree. Uh, for me, I think, dude, I, I go back again, way back 2007, first time I think a lot of my good memories with a lot of these, this generation of cricketers, I'm talking about like the Rohit Sharmas, uh, Suresh Rayanas, Gautam Gambhir, although, although Gambhir was around for a while, or even Yuvraj. I go back to those 2000s, late 2000s and early 2010s. I just loved watching them play. I think Rohit Sharma in the final against Pakistan scored a very quick fire. Oh, I, I just can't remember how much it was, but it was a very quick knock. You would, today, if you saw the, that kind of a knock and that kind of a strike rate, you'd be like, oh, wow, like, oh, he's one of the best finishers there. And Rohit Sharma batting at six, which is so weird. Like, even if you think about it, you can't associate Rohit Sharma with batting at number six and finishing off matches. And that's what he did back then, at least. So, for India, he was a very handy 20-30 runs. I remember he scored in, in about 10-15 balls. So, yeah, that made the difference in the end for India to get to 157, 158, whatever. And then it was always going to be hard for Pakistan to chase it down. And, and we end up winning the game. And he proved to be that difference maker in that game. And I think that is one of my favourite memories of Rohit Sharma. Just his effortless timing is... I mean, dude, I have not seen somebody time the ball as better as, as well as Rohit Sharma. I think this is the, something I always say uh, when we speak about Rohit Sharma is, I think India really missed out on a quality test cricketer in Rohit Sharma just for not giving him enough opportunities in the red ball game and probably him not giving himself enough opportunities as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bit of both, I think. Mm. But yeah, Adi, Rohit Sharma? Dude, to be fair, I, with Rohit Sharma, I'm, I can't say I have a lot of memories in terms of that because in the early ages when we were there, he was not getting a lot of chances, right? Especially in the ODI yeah. team. I mean, apart from the T20 World Cup final, he played a bit in 2009-2010. He couldn't, you know, crack into the squad, Indian squad. He went off and then has come back into the Indian squad, you know, later on as an opener for India. Great rise, played very importantly in you know in the 2019 world cup which we should have won technically if if we still had our you know shikha on him the way he played in that world cup i think that was the most favorite part of me with rosham it was not just rosham it was him and shikha together like that partnership opening partnership i still think it's one of my favorite partnerships for india because the way they used to bat was was actually like so lovely for me to watch and i used to enjoy it like actually enjoy it I used to always feel like, okay, they can again go for a 100, 150, 200 partnership with these. And they used to do that very easily. It was not something where it was tough for them to do. And that aspect of Rohit Sharma's career, that point of time where he had a prime Shikhar Dhawan, Rohit Sharma opening, and then you have Virat at number three was my favorite. You know, especially in the ICC tournaments, like they did, did both in, even in the World Cup in 2019, 2013 also. So that whenever I used to see them in the World Cup, especially in that England you know, England World Cup. That was my favorite era of Rohit Sharma. I mean, apart from that, you know, can't say much with Rohit Sharma in terms of that. I, I feel like his antics outside the field is more entertaining for me, you know. When it comes to running in between the wickets, feeling sometimes even in the press conference or his, or his, you know, recently the way he's... I love the way he treats these, you know. in the yes. you, you saw the West Indies series, like the way that he treats these kids, it's... it's these guys enjoyed it. Looks like he's like his older brother yeah. who's there to ensure these kids yeah. are doing the right thing the right way. So he's I enjoy like the vibe in the dressing room. Yeah, you I actually like this part of Roshama more because he's a character, you can say that. I've never seen a captain who's this <laughs> casual. But also yeah, he's he also <laughs> effective, right? It's a bit of both. Like you can't just say he's very casual, but he's also effective as a captain. And I love this balance of how he's like casual but he gets his point right to the players also and they respect yeah. him even though he's a different kind of captain compared to your previous captains right so yeah true bro and uh very very vibey guy i think is very chilled out relaxed as well and forget stuff uh toss time a lot of times but yeah we forgive him for that but 
Yeah, I think that's 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 that. I think with Rohit Sharma, I think what what a wonderful servant he's been. If this is his last ICC tournament, ICC T20 World Cup, at least we hope he he can get the job done. He's the captain. He gets it done for India, and yeah, gives gives that Indian side. I mean, he gets the farewell that he deserves as far as T20 cricket is concerned uh, for India. Well, yeah, thanks, thanks, Rishi, thanks, Adi, um, for joining in. Everybody watching, please let us know what your favorite Rohit Sharma memory is, and if you think it would be either Virat or Rohit. final icc t20 world cup let us know in the comments and we'll see you soon